Hello everyone, welcome back. I am planting corn in the barn hall. Uh, not really, but kind of. So, it's wet and nasty and rainy. And uh, uh, it's Saturday and I have a commitment later today that I've got to go, uh, go for. So, there's not a whole lot I can do. So, one thing I thought I would do is play with the... Uh, in row spacing on the new corn planter. Now, owner's manuals for these things will give you a seed population per acre. Uh, and of course, you know, a lot of folks planting larger acres, that's what they're looking for. Uh, me, it doesn't really, I'm not really going for that particular number. What I'm looking for is seed spacing in row and between rows. I kind of know what the variety of corn that I grow does best at. So really and truly, I don't care how many seed to an acre. I mean, I've got an idea uh, that I use when I purchase seed and stuff like that. So I've got a pretty good idea and I can always do the math. But uh, my biggest concern is how far apart are the seeds in the row and how far apart the rows are. So what I've done here uh, to keep from wasting expensive corn seed, I just poured feed corn down into the seed hoppers, just a little. And I have uh, raised the gauge wheels so that we just make a small seed trench and uh, took the pressure off the covering wheels, screwed the top link in so basically the openers are running and I'm dropping seed. That's all I'm interested at this point. We will make those adjustments later for the other components of the planter. But I'll show you what uh, what I'm doing here. Okay, so basically I put some seed in there, pulled the uh, planter, and you can see there's a kernel, there's a kernel, there's a kernel, there's a kernel. And what I was trying to do is just leave the trench open and everything so I can come back through and measure the distance. Now, what I am wanting is approximately eight inches between seat. Okay. And you can see that I am right on eight inches. Now, this one's a little closer it's uh, about seven and let's let's get us an average here let's get us an average so here we've got eight and a half fifteen and a half you know uh 25 that one's a little wide uh 25 33 that's 8 33 to about 40 and a half so we're close to 8 so for my purposes this will work okay uh, now I did have to make an adjustment the initial run was running about six inches and uh, that was a little too close so uh, what we were looking for is uh, about eight inches in the hill and of course we are 30 inches from center of furrow to center of furrow which is what i want now i won't be running row markers on this what i'll do is uh i'll know where to place the front wheel in relative to the the last plant so i'll know get my spacing and since we don't cultivate and we're not mechanically harvesting the row spacing can vary a little that's no big deal but uh the ground in this barn hall is very compacted and if i adjust the planter back properly i've noticed that it will actually plant and cover in this hard compacted ground uh which is pretty impressive to be honest with you but um that's uh, 
that's one thing that we've been doing here this morning. We're trying to uh, get this thing as close to field ready as possible. So when it's ready, although it's, you know, pretty much a new piece of equipment, there's things like that need to be adjusted. Now, one thing I did run into, the spring that holds the tensioner, the chain tensioner, right here. Uh, if I come all the way over, there's not enough room. So what I'm going to have to do is loosen the set screws on the sprockets and slide them to my left so that we will have full adjustment if, uh, if we need to. It's, you can see the chain's running a little crooked. I don't like that. So we will, uh, we will make a quick, easy adjustment there and, uh, will not be, that won't be a problem. And then that'll, that'll allow us to, uh, you know, as long as we don't come out, the end sprocket needs to be, it needs to move about a half inch. Uh, or I could probably flip the spring around and be fine with it and let this put spring, move the spring from this side to this side and allow this to go on over. Maybe the easiest, simplest way to do it. And that's maybe what I do instead of shifting the gear clusters over. But anyhow, that's what we're doing. Yes, I'm like a kid with a new toy, but uh, I have learned in farming the preparation you make before you go to the field can save you a lot of work, time, money, and headache when you get to the field. So uh, it's not a bad thing to spend a little time familiarizing yourself with the new piece of equipment, seeing what it's doing, seeing what its capabilities are, etc etc in my opinion so uh, that's kind of what i'm up to right now uh, thanks for watching we hope you uh, we hope these videos are entertaining and we hope you learn something and uh you know as long as people keep watching them we'll keep making them. so until next time take care of yourself